So welcome back. We're in Egypt. Uh, the Hebrews are under bondage. God has brought his deliverer, Moses. And we're today at Exodus chapter 8, verses 5 to 7 now. Uh, Moses and Aaron have just announced the second plague. This is what it's going to be. Frogs, frogs, and more frogs. What do you say? And so let's read it here, verses 5 to 7. Then the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your hand with your staff over the rivers, over the streams, and over the pools, and make frogs come up on the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. The magicians did the same with their secret arts, making frogs come up on the land of Egypt. So unfortunately, the text doesn't tell us anything about, you know, how much time elapsed between verse 4 and verse 5, but we saw yesterday morning, they announced what was coming, and now, I don't know, I sort of imagine, you know, they're standing there and there's kind of this pregnant silence. Pharaoh's got nothing to say. He's just, and Moses and Aaron, they've got nothing to say. They've delivered their message. And so they're all kind of standing there waiting, and Pharaoh doesn't relent, so God says, to, says okay, go ahead, we're going to go on to plague two, go for it. And so that's kind of what happens. So Aaron stretches out the rod over the waters, and frogs come up everywhere and cover the land. I mean, they are everywhere. And when Moses said, you know, they're going to be in the bedroom and all, all that, you know, he wasn't kidding. Now, according to the scholars here, we find out that in Egypt, they didn't have a bed like you and I have perhaps today. They slept on mats on the floor. So this would be real easy for frogs to creep over. And if you roll over, you roll over on a bunch of squeaky frogs and they're up croaking all night and getting into your food. They can get into everything and anything. And so, yes, he told, he told Pharaoh, you're going to have frogs in your, in your sleeping space just as everybody else in Egypt will. And by the way, these first plagues are not only affecting the Egyptians, they're also affecting the Hebrews. So we don't have any reports from the Hebrews about what they think about it, but Moses and Aaron must have had frogs all over the place all night long, you know, as it goes on. So anyway, that's what we've got here. Pharaoh will not relent. And so, boom, here are the frogs. And there are a super abundance of frogs. So I don't know about you, but I think for me, this would start getting old after about like one minute. So now we have the magicians. They swing into action, Pharaoh's magicians. And they, again, appear to be able to duplicate somehow this, uh, this, this miracle. But they can't take the frogs away. <laughs> they, they, can, they can add some, supposedly. They can at least make the appearance of adding some. But this causes Pharaoh again to harden his heart, and Pharaoh will not relent. And so uh, there's frogs, frogs, and more frogs. And everybody's kind of thinking about this. You know, this is something that kind of went viral because, like, it couldn't do anything else. Everybody was stepping on these squeaky frogs. And, yeah, it, it, was, it was notable. People all kind of knew something's up. Something's up. This isn't normal because you've got frogs coming out of your ears. So this is the second plague, and remember, there's kind of an escalation from one plague to the next, kind of a stair step up. Each one's going to be more severe than the one before it. But anyway, Pharaoh is absolutely stubborn. He's not going to let anything go. And so here we are, covered up with frogs, and here we are at plague two. Magicians appear to duplicate it, but if they were so good, such good magicians... <laughs> If they had the power to do it, I'm sure that Pharaoh would have said, well, okay, get rid of the frogs. Show you're stronger than Yahweh. But they can't do that. They are outmatched. But anyway, here we have the second item here. All right. See you tomorrow morning. We'll get to see what happens next.